together. Praise the Lord. Final day. A great day. Whatever you have missed from the first day until now, you are getting it. Full miracle. Perfect miracle. Total miracle. Complete miracle. You will carry it back home. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you tonight. We bless your name for what you have done. And we thank you for what you are still going to do. We're asking, Lord, tonight we'll finalize everything for everybody in Jesus' name. Here, in all the regions, in all the states, in all the nations, everywhere, and those who are connected in every way, Lord, we pray you connect everyone with power from heaven in Jesus' name. Accomplish it in every life. We thank you because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Give an amen that will confirm it in your life. Praise the Lord. God bless you. See now in the blessing of the Lord. Tonight, as we conclude, we're going to take the approach that everything you have got will remain permanent. Healing, salvation, deliverance, redemption will be permanent in your life in Jesus' name. That's why tonight we're looking at the message ensuring the continuity of divine connection. Ensuring, making sure that the divine connection you have will continue in your life in Jesus' name. We're coming to Psalm 91, read verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He will abide. Look at verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day. Every fear of evil taken away from your life in Jesus' name. Look at verse 9. In verse 9, because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge, even the most high thine habitation. You will live under that habitation and protection. No evil will touch your life. Verse 14, it says, Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I rejoice with you. You are delivered. I will set him on high. Promotion has come for you. Because he has known my name. Look at all that God says he will do. In Psalm 119. Psalm 119. We're reading verse 16. I will delight myself in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. Everything you have heard during this program and all that you have been hearing in the word of God, once you don't forget, the Lord will not forget you. He will remember you for good. And every day and every time will be a day of divine connection in every life in Jesus' name. Psalm 119 verse 93. I will never forget thy precepts. That's what we tell the Lord. And once we fulfill that, I will never forget thy precepts. He also, he will never forget you. He'll be following you about. Any day of need, any time of need, whatever the need may be, once you don't forget, he will not forget you. And the faith you have 
will move every mountain out of your life. And everything in your life will be set right in Jesus' name. In the lives of all our choir members from all over here, in every region, every state, and all those countries where we have deep and life, and they're singing to bless us. The Lord will not forget them in Jesus' name. And you? Maybe I should say me. me. The Lord will never forget me. Yes. Say it for yourself. He'll never forget you. But with them that was quickened me. Once again, the message is ensuring the continuity of divine connection. Four things we're looking at today. A, B, C, and D. A, abide. B, beware. C, continue. D, delight. And everything is made right. Look at your amen. Yes. Number one, abide in his divine connection. Don't ever let the power get disconnected in your life. Abide and make sure that you put in into that socket divine connection your light will never go out your joy will never go out your miracle will never stop day after day after day you are connected your family is connected everyone around you connected you will never miss anything good in your life in jesus name be beware of deceptive uh, corruptors. There is, you know, the devil is jealous of you because now you are a child of God. He can never be. You are an heir of Christ. He can never be. And you are a possessor of the ticket that gets to heaven. He can never be. And therefore, he will come uh, wanting to disconnect you. But I will not be disconnected. I said, I will not be disconnected. <laughs> Nothing will pull you away from your connection in Jesus' name. <laughs> Beware of deceptive corruptors. Number three, continue. Don't get tired, continue. Don't get weary, continue. Don't say, I'm giving up. You'll never give up, continue. Continue with the divine conqueror. He never lost any battle. He will conquer for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Number four, D, the light in the divine connector. Just love him. Set your affection on him. And he says, because you have set your affection on me, I will be with you. I will promote you. I will set you on high. Every need in your life, you'll be connected with the solution in Jesus' name. You've got a miracle child. That child will live and grow and then will become joy in your life, your old age, in Jesus' name. And every blessing you have got, multiplying, multiplying, multiplying. The Lord wipe away tears from your eyes permanently in Jesus' name. Amen. Number one, abide in his divine connection. Psalm 91, reading from verse 1. He that, he that dwelleth in the sacred place of the Most High shall abide, shall abide, shall abide under the shadow of the almighty in verse 2 it says i will say of the lord he is my refuge my fortress my god in him will i trust look at verse 3 surely somebody shall surely there's no doubt in your life there's no maybe in your life Everything the Lord has promised and provided will be sure in every life in Jesus' name. Surely it shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler 
and from the noisome place a uh, pestilence. Then in verse 4, it says, He shall cover thee. You are under cover. What is he? He is under cover. What is she there? She is under cover in Jesus' name. Amen. Satan's eyes will not see you. Amen. Enemy's eyes will not detect where you are. Amen. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? If they are evil, they will never see you and they will never touch you in Jesus' name. Amen. They shall cover thee with his feathers. Under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Any arrow that is coming, anything like a spiritual bullet coming in the day, in the night, anywhere, the shield of the truth of God will, swat, will make it swap away in Jesus' name. Abide. Abide. Look at John chapter 15. In John chapter 15, reading from verse 4, Abide in me and I in you. That solves every problem. I said that solves every problem. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. Abide in the one that has conquered for you. Abide in the divine connector. Abide in our savior. Abide in your healer. Abide in your helper. Everything will be all right. Look at verse 5. In verse 5, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, abideth continuously. He that abideth in me, and I in him. The same bringeth forth much fruit. You will bear fruit. Your family will bear fruit. In your profession, you will bear fruit. Anything you touch, progress, productivity, promotion, fruit will come out in Jesus' name. The same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. Look at verse 7. In verse 7, if ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, then it says, Ye shall ask what ye will. That means what you want. Even tonight, you will ask on, that, on this final day, you will ask whatever you want. Instead of just, uh, you know, being sorrowful, I don't have this, ask him now. I've not got this, ask him now. I'm feeling pain here, ask him now. I'm feeling dejected here, ask him now. I have sorrow for something, ask him now. Ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Say, shall be done unto me. The Lord will do it in your life, in our lives together, in Jesus' name. First John chapter 2. We're reading from verse 24. In First John chapter 2 verse 24, let that therefore abide in you. Don't allow it to go. And don't allow it to evaporate away. Let that therefore abide in you, which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. Look at verse 25. And this is the promise that he has promised us even eternal life. Here, he has given us salvation and then will continue with abundant life, abundant life in your life. Abundant provision in your life. And then you'll be moving on and on about the grace of God when the time comes after you have spent a good time here 
connected with the Lord, you will go into life eternal. Amen. You'll be there. Amen. Heaven, you'll be there. Amen. Glory, you'll be there. Amen. In that great mansion up in heaven, you'll be there in Jesus' name. Amen. From now until then, he'll be your companion. From now until then, he'll be your comforter. From now until then, he'll be the conqueror in your life in Jesus' name. Let's come to number two now. Number two, beware of deceptive corruptors. You know, this Psalm 91, very, very wonderful. The Satan came to Jesus Christ and said, if you are the son of God, cast yourself down. Because in Psalm 91, it is said that he will send his angels and they will bear you up in their hands that you will not dash your foot against a stone. That was a corrupter. He has some followers. He has people who are working for him out there. And you want to beware of those deceptive corruptors. As Satan was not able to corrupt the Lord Jesus Christ, corruptors will not corrupt you. You will set your face like a flinch, like the Lord Jesus Christ, You'll be moving on, and when that corrupter is calling you from behind, hey, and he mentions your name, you act as if you are not hearing. When Satan calls, I will not hear. When corruptors call, I will not hear. When deceivers call, I will not hear. I'm going to hear only one voice, and that's the voice of my shepherd, and that shepherd will never leave you. It's your shepherd, it's your helper, he'll never leave you in Jesus' name. Look at Psalm 91, we're looking at verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day. And he hear my people say amen. And then in verse 6, it says, Not for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. And then in verse 7, it says, A thousand shall fall at thy side. At that time, the corrupter will say, It's coming near, a thousand has fallen, it's getting to you. Beware of the deceptive corruptors. When they say yes, they actually mean no. When they say no, they mean yes. Satan is a liar. I said Satan is a liar. Whatever a liar says, it is the opposite that is true. When the liar says, ah, you think you are saved, you are not saved. That means you are saved. When a liar says, you think you got something, you didn't get anything, that's what the liar says, the opposite is true, I got something. When a liar says, you will perish, uh -huh, thank you very much liar, I know that the opposite is true, you will not perish. Beware of deceptive corruptors, a thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at the right hand, but, but, it shall not come near thee. You will prove all those liars wrong in your life in Jesus' name. In verse 8, it says, only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. With your eyes, you see, but your body will not feel it. It will not touch you. You are abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. And whatever you see of the calamities in the world, and whatever you hear of the corruptors that is saying, it's your turn, it's your turn, it will not get near you. 
Beware of the liar, beware of the deceiver, beware of those that he says, and he says, look at what will happen to you. Goodness and mercy will follow you. How many days of your life? All the days of your life. And then you will live in glory forever and ever. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 6. We're looking at verse 12. Then beware lest thou forget the Lord. Beware lest thou forget the Lord. At the time of trouble, at the time of temptation, at the time of trial, beware at that time that you don't forget that you are special and that you are divinely connected unto the Lord. When others are running elter skelter, beware that you do not forget the Lord your God who brought thee out. I am brought out. I said I am brought out. He brought you out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. And because of that, you are free. Somebody shout, I am free. I am free. Then he tells us in verse 13, Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God and serve him and shall swear by his name. And then he says in verse 14, Ye shall not go after other gods. You see, the deceiver will say, Ah, church cannot handle this. They will say, Bible cannot handle this. They will say, oh, Prayer cannot handle this. Beware, beware. Don't listen to them. The greatest mountain that may come in your life. Prayer, the prayer of faith will handle that. You will be free. I said you will be free. I learned of a particular person. Um, that man did not uh, come to the meeting that we held. And we had uh, said some things of the promises of God. And then the wife was there in the meeting. And the wife got back home. And the man was almost at the point of death. What the woman did, good wife, Sisters there, good wives. Are there wives in the house? Good wives in Jesus' name. She put the message for her husband to listen to. Just listening, just listening, just listening. And then at the end of the prayer, the prayer was there at the end. And when we prayed at the end of that uh, message, and we said the final, in Jesus' name we pray, power came to that man. The spirit of death was living away. And so when you have any problem after this time all that we have been listening to the word of God you take that again you listen again just listening the power will come for the message you'll be free in Jesus name and so you shall not go after other gods of the gods of the people which are round about you your solution will always be near in Jesus' name. Second Peter chapter 3. We're reading from verse 17. Second Peter chapter 3. Reading from verse 17. It says, Beware. It says, Ye therefore, beloved, seeing that ye know these things before, beware, lest ye also be led away with the error of the wicked and fall from your own steadfastness you will not fall from your steadfastness you stand firm you stand erect you start believing and everything you believe of the promises of god will be yes and amen in your life in jesus name beware lest ye also be led away of it uh, with the error of the wicked fall from your own steadfastness look at verse 18 but grow in grace 
you are going to grow. Amen. Now we have laid the foundation, the foundation of connection with the divine. And now that you have got that foundation and you are standing on the foundation of the rock of ages that cannot be moved, you will grow in grace. You will grow in faith. You will grow in power. You will grow in love. And you will grow in your commitment to the Lord, the divine connector in Jesus' name. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To Him, your Lord. To Him, your Savior. To Him, your Redeemer. To Him, your Deliverer. To Him, your divine connector. To Him, be glory both now and forever. Amen. Amen will follow you home. Everywhere you go, office, market, farm, anywhere, office, amen will follow you there. And then uh, that amen will go before you. That amen will come behind you. That amen will be around you. Any danger on the way, the amen that we have here that is recorded in heaven for you already will clear the way for you. Number three, number three is to continue with the divine conqueror. He has conquered. He has overcome. He has overcome everything against your life from sin to suffering to sickness to affliction to imprisonment he has conquered everything on the cross of calvary and he said it is finished for me it is finished for you it is finished and because it is finished glory the glory of god will follow you the goodness of God will follow you. Amen. Look at Psalm 91, verse 9. Because thou hast made the Lord personal decision. Personal decision. Thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. It's like that's where you are living. You are living with your connector. You're living with the healer. You're living with the conqueror. You're living with the power of God on earth. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. Look at verse 10. There shall no evil befall thee. There shall no evil befall me. No accident before you. No disaster befalling you. And there is no curse that will come your way. Every chain of the devil, every oppression of the devil is taken away. You, in particular, you will experience total freedom, total liberation in Jesus' name. Amen. Territorial spirit will not follow you. And the spirit of danger and the spirit of premature death will not follow you in Jesus' name. Amen. Next time when I come, I will see you there. Amen. Your life is secured. Amen. And your position is secured. Amen. And every good thing the Lord has ordained in your life, permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. There shall no evil befall me. Me. Say it now. Be it be confirmed in your life in Jesus' name. Neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. Look at verse 11. In verse 11, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee. To keep thee 
to keep thee in all thy ways and then he tells us in verse 12 they shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against a stone and then in verse 13 thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample on the feet where is the lion that trawling lion that wants to see or to devour where is that lion that cobra that adder that serpent that scorpion that evil that affliction you will match on them while you are sitting down there match on them and let me see you praise the lord praise the lord you are free just one note of encouragement continue wake up in the morning read your bible and everything you read there you see the promise of promises of god there continue you see the commandments of the lord there continue and you see the duty the responsibility of the child of god to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature continue you see the encouragement you see the provision as you read your bible continue it says forgive your enemies continue it says hold on to the lord the hand that holds the whole universe continue everything you see everything you read in the word of god continue with the divine conqueror and you will conquer and i will conquer you will conquer in jesus name john chapter 8 and we're reading from verse 30 john chapter 8 verse 30 as he spake these words many believed on him and as we have come for this period of divine connection many have believed on him and now look at the words of christ to everyone that has connected with the savior so you have salvation you have connected with the healer so you have a healing you have connected with the deliverer and so you have deliverance you have connected with the one that blesses us and so you are blessing he has a word for you were you here will you do john chapter 8 verse 31 then said jesus to those jews would believe on him if he continue in my word don't allow opinions of men to come in if you continue in my word don't allow your old fears to come in if you continue in my word don't allow the philosophy of the world to come in if you continue in my word don't continue in your past fear and failure I'm thinking, if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. I will continue. You will continue. And as you continue, all the blessings that he has uh, provided for all disciples will be yours in Jesus' name. And uh, look at uh, Second Timothy chapter 3. Verse 14, Second Timothy, chapter 3, verse 14. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned. Have you learned anything during this period? I said, have you learned anything during this divine connection program? Continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of knowing of whom that was learned them i will continue luke chapter 22 reading from verse 28 luke 
22, verse 28, Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. Verse 29, And I appoint you a kingdom. You have continued, I appoint you a kingdom. You have continued, and you will keep on continuing, I appoint you a kingdom. As my father has appointed me. Look at verse 30. It says that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. You will be in that kingdom. Glorious kingdom. Heavenly kingdom. Eternal kingdom. You will be there. I see you now with the eyes of faith in the future, sitting with the Lord, dining with Him, and then you are past all trials, all troubles, all tribulation, and all temptation will never come anymore. Once you get in, therefore at this time, continue. I will continue. The Lord will hold your hand. The Lord will see you through. And everything you need for you to continue, all the grace you need, all the strength you need, all the courage you need, the Lord will grant unto you in Jesus' name. Number four now, delight in the divine connector. Delight, set your love on the divine connector and set your affection on the divine connector everything will be set right every mountain will be moved away amen the lord fulfill it in every life look at look at psalm 91 reading from verse 14 because thou hast said he has set his love upon me he delights in me therefore will i deliver him i am delivered praise the lord i am delivered praise the lord therefore will i deliver him i will set him on high who says, who says you will not be promoted? You are promoted already. You are lifted already. Because you delight yourself in the Lord, I will set him on high because he has known my name. Do you know that name? What's the name? Jesus. It will set you up. It will promote you. It will provide for you. Look at verse 15. In verse 15, he shall call upon me. He shall call upon me. And I will answer him. He'll answer you tonight. Salvation, he'll answer you tonight. Healing, he'll answer you tonight. Deliverance, he'll answer you tonight. He shall call upon me. Even if nobody else is calling upon him, you, when you call upon him tonight, tomorrow, anytime, he will answer you. Amen. Your life will be a chain of answered prayers. Amen. I will be with him in trouble. You will never go through trouble all alone by yourself anymore till the end of your life. In Jesus' name. The one that dried up the Red Sea said, I will be with you. The one that dried up River Jordan said, I will be with you. The one that made the Jericho walls to fall down said, I will be with you. The one that calmed the storm on that ocean when the disciples said, Lord Jesus, don't you care that we perish? Then he rose up and said, Peace be still. That one that stilled every storm, he will be with you. I will deliver him. I will honor him. What are you? He will honor you. I, I'm wondering what does that mean? I will honor you. Hear him coming 
unto the king and then the king said come and come in here what do you think the king wants to honor somebody what do you think I should do to the one I want to honor and Haman was coming in so as to ask for the death of Mordecai and he thought okay before even I hang that Mordecai, I'm going to be honored. He thought it was for him. Nobody will steal your blessing. And so, Haman said, the man you want to honor, bring the uh, mool you ride on, and then bring a royal cloth and set that man on that mole and then let that man sit on it and then let the person next to him take him all around the city and say this is what the law what the king is doing to the one that he honors and the king said that's right take Mordecai your enemy and put him on that mole and be going before him and saying everybody here this is the man that the king has honored your enemy will declare your honor the lord will lift you up and the lord will set you there and those who thought they are looking for to terminate your life and they're looking for the end of your life they will be short because they'll be going before you making announcement everybody look at the man everybody look at the woman this is the man this is the woman that God is honoring let me see his face let me see uh, her face. I've seen you there. Honor will come to you in Jesus' name. Look at verse 16. Verse 16. Hmm. To reach this one will take me a long time. With long life. With long life. With long Will I satisfy him and I will show him my salvation? Where is the man? Where is the woman? Get up and tell the Lord long life, eternal life, abundant life, happy life, joyful life has come unto you. Abide, 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 and as you abide, as you abide, the Lord Himself said all the things you have got in this great connection divine connection program the lord confirms everything in your life abide 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 beware of the devil beware of the corrupter beware of the deceiver continue 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 blessings around you blessings are upon you blessings are inside your home and blessings are following you and then delight in the Lord delight in the Lord delight in the Lord and he will set everything right in your life everything 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 set right in your life he show you salvation he will grant you salvation in Jesus name we pray this is the easiest time in your life to be saved and if you are yet, if you are waiting for that salvation, heaven is ready right now. And the Lord is looking for you. And he's saying, I paid the price already. And I want you to come. 
you cannot abide until you have come you must come first and wherever you are you're giving your life to the lord right now and you're saying lord here am i i'm a sinner i want my sins to be forgiven i want to enter into the kingdom of god raise up your hand is the easiest time for you to be saved and the salvation of the lord is available whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved raise up that hand i'll pray for you now and when you hear that final amen just thank the lord i am saved father in jesus name we well, thank you for those who are giving their lives to, Lord, to the Lord now so that Christ, the Savior, can be their personal Savior. Lord, I pray you look at them and you attend to every one of them without exception. Take all their sins away in Jesus' name. Take the condemnation away and take the guilt away and the judgment of their sin. Take all that away in Jesus' name. And I pray now that forgive, forgiveness will come to them. Freedom will come to them. And the grace of God will come to them. And your salvation will belong to them now in Jesus' name. Confirm it to Lord in every life. Thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. That salvation is there. Just thank the Lord I am saved. Our counselors are there. You get the details. And then after that, we'll come back today. Miracles galore. Yeah.